All right, the LA Chargers have been linked to a new wide receiver via a trade, and this one's interesting because it really makes us go and look at who the LA Chargers have at wide receiver, and then you can see, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe a trade. So if you go to a Cincinnati Bengals website, they are saying that ESPN is saying that T. Higgins would fit really well with the Chargers. Now, the Chargers drafted Lad McConkey, DJ Chark's coming in. Justin Herbert's got a few weapons there, but but T. Higgins is actually really good. And now he he was good before um, you know, before what's his name got there? Jamar Chase. It was like, man, things were things were good. And then this last year was a little rocky, and now he wants to be traded. So here's the thing about T. Higgins. And let me know in the comments if you like this. In 2020, he had 67 receptions and almost 1,000 yards. 21 and 22, he went over 1,000 yards. Remarkably consistent, really. Take a look at these stats. 74 catches, I mean, 1,000 yards. His long is about almost exactly the same. Six and then seven TDs. Really interesting how, how that is now. Right here, kind of drops off last year. Could have been an odd year, who knows? But that's where, if you look at the LA chart, LA Chargers depth chart, you start to have Josh Palmer. It's like, all right, I, I like him, but need him. Johnston, can he get open? No. So you got Lad McConkey, DJ Chark, and then you've got Brendan Rice and Cornelius Johnson. So, because because here's the thing: if you start looking at this roster, you got the quarterback, you got the running back, you've got the offensive line. Now that wide receiver room, who everyone thought was so down could really get a boost with T Higgins. And so that's kind of where you start looking and I like it, right? T Higgins could could really be a good good fit. He's totaled 24 career TDs over his four seasons. He had 656 yards last year after breaking 1000 yards in back-to-back -back seasons what we looked at. For what's worth, Higgins is anticipating staying in Cincinnati. But he's 25 years old. He's a starter. He's formally requested a trade. He's saying, I'm sitting out. I want to leave here. But Willie, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments if T. Higgins is somebody that you want. Because, again, you've got Lad McConkey who is going to try to break some rookie records. So in this website here, they're talking about how Keenan Allen was taken in the third round of the 2013 draft. He had 71 receptions for 1,000 yards his rookie year, which is really good because, remember, we went to T. Higgins' stats. That's really his best year is, is about what uh, Keenan Allen had. So Keenan Allen, outstanding, and that's the thing about that. I mean, he had 9, 10 years, 11 years, whatever. Yeah, 10, 10 11 years where it was outstanding, and it was just time to time to move on. And so Keenan Allen's gone, of course, to Chicago. So can the question is, can Lad McConkey beat that? So specifically looking at the reception number of 71, that's quite attainable for McConkey so long as he's healthy in 2024. Now, I fully believe he will have more receptions than that. Let me know in the comments. Will he have more or less receptions? The reason is he's going to be a number one target as a rookie which is good and bad. The second thing is he gets open and that's where the chargers have struggled in the, in the last few years, Keenan Allen can get open, but Mike Williams wasn't getting open. Johnston's not getting open. Now that lad McConkey's there, he can get, get open. I like that. So last season, Puka Nakua had 105 receptions, which is just amazing. McConkey could do the same by breaking a team record in the first season without Allen. Man, 105 receptions for Puka Nakua is an all-time single-season mark for a rookie, which is just incredible. Anything in that 70-80 catch is, would just be crazy. So, yeah, to see Puka Nakua do 105 is, is, is nuts. So, all right, let's take a look, and let's just go back here. You look at... When you look here at the depth chart, again, we've we've talked about it quite a bit. The, the offense is in good shape. Defense is in good shape because we believe that the defense is going to settle down. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel all about the Chargers. And, and because we know a lot about Jim Harbaugh and we want to follow him out to L.A., 
And we know a lot about the defensive coordinator, Jesse Minter, who does a really nice job of simplifying the defense and making it really something that is easy to follow. And that's the key here. Joey Bosa, star, Khalil Mack, Junior Colson, Asante Samuel, Derwin James. If these guys can just Tui, I'll not allow the big play and just stay in the game. It's going to be huge. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you trade for T Higgins? Let me know what you think, and we will see all of you on the next one.